In the next phase of the project, we want to look at this area north of ramp B. In this area, I've already come in here and placed a new template drop. Let's uh, look at the template here. In this area, we're going to want to widen out the road and place a turn lane in this area so we can see where this uh, taper feature is. Now that you can see my template here, this is the one I've placed in this specific region. This is the point that we're going to be controlling here via adding it as a corridor uh, reference. As you can see, the point feature here is going to target a road edge of pavement feature 100 feet to the left. Uh, and it has some display rules here. So as we've done before, I can test the horizontal point control. And once I bring it over here, you can see We'll have some end conditions, a sidewalk being placed, and also an additional turn lane. So I'll hit cancel on this. Let's kind of flip the 3D model over into this area so we can see how it behaves after we add the corridor reference. So I want to come in here and add this feature as a reference like we've done before. So I use the corridor objects to add this as a reference. Click on external reference here, then add new, select this feature, and right click to complete. Now that it's added as a reference, I'm gonna close this. And you can see here in this area is where that additional turn lane got created and the sidewalk feature also got created. One thing I, I do want to make note of here is if you look in the 3D model, you can see the stroking here where each template drop is. It's completely perpendicular to this baseline feature. There are instances where you don't want that to happen. Um, in particular, if you look at the sidewalk feature, we may want the stroking to kind of go perpendicular to this feature that we added as a corridor reference. And there's a way to do that. We can actually add it as a secondary alignment. So I'm going to show us how to do that here. I can come in here on secondary alignment and add a new. I'll locate this feature. It'll ask me my start and stop station. Select here as my start and here as my end. Offset will be zero. Stop offset will be zero. And I'll data point to accept. Now that the corridor is refreshed, I'll go ahead and close this dialog. And you can see that the stroking here is now going perpendicular to that feature. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.